Alright, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal and Ascend to Row. So I hope everyone is doing well. Today is going to be your pick a card reading. So we're going to take a look at your person's energy towards you. If you guys want to book a personal reading, I do have a $20 off promotion. I'll leave it in the comment section. Okay, so we're going to start off with pile one here. I'm just going to move these over. Okay, let's start off with some tarot. Pile one. What is this person's energy towards you right now? Hold on one sec, guys. If you guys can hear noises in the background, that is my dog. Just FYI. Okay, let's see. Pal one. Seven of Wands. Ooh, the Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay, and the Ten of Swords. Heaviness. A lot of mental um, heaviness here for this person, okay? They're like very mentally conflicted about this situation. I also feel like um, their energy towards you is very defensive, very closed off. I feel like if you were to try to approach this person to get them to talk, to get something out of them, they would just very much like they would um, they would push you away. They would put up a wall. Like you would feel like I can't get to you type of energy. I also feel like this person keeps a lot to themselves. Like they lock up a lot of their feelings, their thoughts, their intentions. Um, in general, this person is carrying a lot of baggage, okay? So this Ten of Wands may not even necessarily be fully about you. This could be that they already have baggage to begin with. They already have a lot going on. Let's see why this Two of Swords is here. I'm not sure if there's someone else. Why is the Two of Swords here? Eight of Cups. Okay, so what this person is trying to make a decision about is whether or not to come back to you, actually. Eight of Cups reverse. So they're contemplating. Even look at the Eight of Cups. See his face? See so how he's got his hand on his chin? He's thinking, like, what do I do? Should I come back? Should I come back to this person? I think at some point they pushed you away, so they're trying to figure out, should I come back? Let's see how they're feeling. Pile one. How does this person feel? Oh, they feel like you fulfill them emotionally. That's why they're thinking that maybe they should come back. So I do feel like this is someone who at some point pushed you away and they could have pushed you away because of this baggage that they're carrying, okay? So I don't know if it's something that you did. It could just be that maybe they were overwhelmed. Um, so now they're thinking to themselves, okay, this person actually emotionally fulfills me. Like they, you do fulfill them completely. So they're trying to figure out, should I come back to pile one? Let's see. What does this person want to say? Whoops. Okay. Yeah, see, look, I want to let you in, but I don't know how, right? Did I not say that this person kind of shuts you out or you feel like this person kind of like, like what I was saying before was if you were to try to get something from them, you would feel like they don't let you in, like they don't open up, like there's a wall and that's the problem. They don't know how to actually let you in and I think this has to do with their baggage, but they do want to, right? Like this person is actually trying to figure out how can I open up my heart to this person? How can I let this person in? How can I be vulnerable with this person? So let's see. Oh, this one just fell. We have, I'm leaving the karmic, I want you. So that could also be playing into this two of swords energy. Let's clarify this. So for some of you, you may know that they're already involved. They have to leave this person. Oh yeah, for some of you it's actually a marriage, or if it's not marriage, it's like a high level commitment that they're in, that they're actually really considering leaving, because the higher font is reversed. This is either getting out of a commitment or getting out of a marriage because this person wants to be with you, because you fulfill them. They do struggle to let you in though, but all like what I'm getting is this person definitely is leaning towards you, like they're leaning towards coming towards you. Um, despite the mental confliction. Okay, what does this person want to say? What does this person want to say? Oops, too many. One. I'm sorry, I ghosted you. I think I just did a reading, was it yesterday or day before, something like that? I was doing a, I did a reading, it was a general reading about, like, click this if this person ghosted you or didn't talk to you, right? So look at this. So this could be, you know, for those of you who resonated with that reading, maybe you picked this pile as well. So I'm sorry I ghosted you. Again, I think this has to do with what I was saying before about how this person pushed you away in the past. Let's clarify this. I'm sorry I ghosted you. Let's clarify with an oracle. 
They ghosted you because of their fears. So it could be that when you were talking to this person, maybe they started to fear something. Like, um, they could have started to get worried about this. Maybe they felt like you were getting too close. Let's see if we can get detail on what is this. I'm sorry I ghosted you in fear. Just know that when this person ghosted you, it's because they were in a fearful vibration. King of Wands reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be dealing with. The Knight of Cups in reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Quite honestly, I think that the fear had to do with the fact that they were dealing with two people. Um, just because we have the two court cards here. I feel like this person didn't know how to handle that situation, so they might have felt like it was easier to just ghost you. Okay, um, but at this point, this person is realizing that you fulfill them. They are leaving this person, and for a lot of you guys, I feel like either they're married to this person or they're in a committed relationship to this person, so they are leaving this person because they want you, um, and they're trying to figure out how they can let you in, okay? So that's what I'm getting. <laughs> that's pile one. I hope that resonated. If you guys want to book something personal, I do have a $20 off promotion. I'll leave it in the comment section. Okay, so let's move on to the Malachite. Okay, if you guys chose this crystal... Let's see, what is this person's energy towards you right now? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Knight of Swords reversed, Ace of Cups reversed, and we've got the Chariot reversed, Cancer. Okay. So the first thing that I'm noticing here, which you guys are probably noticing as well, is we've got the Knight of Swords and the, the Chariot. These are cards of, of fast movement, right? Even in these pictures, See how these horses are moving very quickly. Like there's momentum. They're they're racing. They're, there's like a fast energy, but they're in reverse. So this is telling me that this person is really not taking any action right now, or they're really trying to slow down. Maybe the pace of this situation. Even the Ace of Cups reverse. I'm just getting like a suppression energy. Um. Why? Let's see what's going on here. Actually, let me grab a mixed emotion. Pile two, pile two. Oh, we have the attachment card. So you have the trusting card, but this is my card for attachment. This person could be trying to slow down their feelings for you. Like um, for some of you, this person could feel like they want to rush towards you, but they're trying to actually slow down this attachment that they're feeling to you. Um, that's what I'm getting actually, because What's interesting is the trusting card is how they feel, which the trusting card is the complete opposite of these energies. The trusting card is like you feel an attachment to someone. You want to be around them all the time. Like there's a there's a lot going on, but they're actually trying to suppress this. So they're feeling like they're forming an attachment and they're like, whoa, 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 whoa. I need to slow this down. They may be feeling like they're attaching too quickly to you and they need to sort of slow it down. What does this person want to say? We have, I just want to see you happy. Okay. What does this person want to say? Oh, they're questioning, they're questioning themselves in regards to you. We have, maybe you deserve better than me. I just want to see you happy. This person doesn't think that they're, um, this person feels like they can't potentially give you what you need. They do care about you because they're in this place where they're like, I just want you to, see, I want to see you happy. Kind of like, even if you're with someone else, I just want to see you happy. But they feel like maybe they're not going to be that person that can give that to you. Why? Let's see. Maybe you deserve better than me. Clarify this. They feel like you deserve someone who can move at your pace. I kind of feel like, um... For a lot of you, this is interesting, but this person, um, I don't know why I'm having a hard time like saying it. I know what I want to say. I don't know why I'm like stalling, but that's interesting because this person is kind of in that energy where they, they kind of stall. This person 100% has feelings for you. So if you're wondering, no, they do. They definitely have feelings for you. The problem is, is I feel like the way that this person um, perceives things is like they actually see attaching to you as a bad thing. Like the more that they feel for you, they actually interpret it as like, oh my God, this is like, it's moving too quickly. I need to slow things down. 
Whereas I think you guys are okay with the pace of attachment. Like you guys are okay when things progress and there's forward movement. And this, that's why they feel like maybe you deserve better than them because they feel like they, they won't be able to keep up with the pace of this connection because of potentially their fears or their tendency to kind of suppress or shut down. So they could have an attachment wound. They could have an avoidant attachment style to be quite honest with you. Because the more that they feel an attachment forming, they actually want to like deactivate it. Um, whereas you guys are okay with this, they've noticed that you're okay with attaching. Like, um, so they feel like maybe you deserve someone who can move the connection forward at the pace that you like to move it forward. I don't know if you've told this person this as well. Like, if you called this person out on this, it's definitely making them feel kind of insecure. What does this person want to say, pile two? Wow, you're the one. This person feels like there is something um, very special about you. No one has ever made me feel this way, you're the one. Um, quite honestly, I know we're not getting this in the cards, but I think this person has already fallen for you. I don't know how long it's been, but I feel like this person has already fallen for you. Um, but they feel like it's happening too fast. Like it's almost like happening faster than they wanted it to happen in a sense. And they can't, it could be that their fears are not catching up with them. Um, or sorry, they're not able to catch up with their fears, like manage their fears. This person really is so into you that they would even... Not to say they'd be happy if you were with someone else, but if it meant that you'd be happy, they would find a way to make peace with it. So this this really shows that this person does truly care about you. Let's grab a card and pile two. Yeah, why do I feel like... This person's kind of sabotaging this connection, guys. We have release here. So they feel like you're the one. They feel like no one has made them feel this way before, but they are completely putting a halt to this connection, right? Because let's not forget, the Knight of Swords and the Chariot were the first cards, were the first three cards out or whatever with the Ace of Cups reverse, um, which are cards of slowing things down and um, like not taking any action despite the fact that they feel this way about you. I, again, I feel like this person would even be willing to let you go They definitely have an avoidant attachment style, okay? Because no other attachment style is going to do this. Um, yeah, and I think that this person, I don't, I don't know if you guys have had a conversation about this. Like maybe you've said to the, I'll give you an example. Like maybe you've said to this person like, I need to see movement or I need to see that we're going somewhere or I need, to tell, I need you to tell me how you feel or whatever it is. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. You have to express your needs. But I almost feel like this person is worried that they're not going to keep up. Like they're not going to be able to keep up. So despite the fact that they, they're attached to you as well, they have emotion for you as well, they're feeling like you could probably do better or you deserve better than what they can give you. So they'd even be willing to release you despite the fact that they care about you. Okay. So that is pile two. I hope that resonated. If you guys want to book a personal reading, I do have a $20 off promotion in the comment section. Okay. Interesting piles this week. So let's move this over here. So pile three. How does this person feel? What's their energy towards you? Page of Wands reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Lovers reverse. Gemini. And the Two of Cups. Oh, you guys pulled the Lovers and the Two of Cups. One upright, one reverse. Okay, I need more information. Let's see. How does this person feel? How does this person feel? They're feeling vulnerable. What do they want to say? Pile three. Oh. Things just move too fast for me. That's literally what I was just saying in pile two. So maybe these are kind of like... It was, this would be the perfect message for pile two because I was literally just saying that. Um, so this could be a continuation. Okay. So you guys are probably not speaking to this person right now or there's very little communication with the Page of Wands in reverse. 
Um, this person feels like the two of you have a very strong connection, very deep connection, very soul-based, spiritual. Like they would definitely tell people like, yeah, I think that's my soulmate. Like I think that's, that we have some, like I feel like this was a relationship that was sent from above. Like they definitely are feeling like there's something going on here. There's some spiritual component to this connection. But they also feel like this connection makes them feel very vulnerable. To the point where they need to move, again, this makes me feel like it was it's kind of similar to Pile 2, they need to move at a slow pace. Um, because they're saying things just move too fast for me. So this makes me feel like in the past, you know, especially when you feel very deeply for someone, sometimes it does like kind of move quickly. And this person was like, whoa, this is too quick, this is too quick. I don't know if you guys had a falling out or if the communication is just kind of not the greatest right now. Let's get another message, pile three. Yeah, look at that, I'm burning with passion for you. This person's very attracted to you. Again, what I'm saying is like, when you feel something very intense for someone, sometimes there's that tendency to kind of rush things. And I think that's kind of what happened between the two of you is like, you both felt this strong connection and you really just wanted to like run with it. And I don't know if you guys had a falling out. I'm not sure if you're together or not. I mean, it's kind of weird because we've got the lovers reverse and the two of cups upright. So it could go either way. I think the communication is a little bit spotty with the page of wands reverse. Maybe you're not communicating it, communicating at all. Or maybe there's kind of a, a bit of like an on and off communication. I just can't tell like, If it was just the lover's reverse, I would say you guys are separated. But the two of cups upright makes me think otherwise. Let's get a message. Pile three. I love how independent you are. Yeah, look at this. Our chemistry is too intense. See what I was saying? Let's get more cards on this. Pile three. What is this person's energy towards you? King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the Nine of Wands. Oh, they're kind of guarded right now. King of Swords and the Nine of Wands, both of these cards would indicate like someone who's a bit guarded, a bit defensive. Why do I feel like I'm missing some key information for Pile 3 for some reason? I feel like there's something missing. Let me pull from this card, or this deck. We have Divine Masculine. Divine Timing. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. You and this person met, and it's like the chemistry, the passion was like instant. Okay, instant. And because of that, you guys progressed the connection really quickly. Um, you just kind of went off that sort of sacral energy and just, you know, went running. And I think at some point, this person started to freak out and kind of shut, not I want to say shut down, but kind of like close off. Like you might have noticed that one, at one point they were super open and all of a sudden you felt like they are kind of guarded, a little bit shut down, a little bit less open towards you. I don't know if they fully walked away. For some of you guys, maybe they did, honestly, because the Divine Masculine has their back turned here. I feel like this person does feel this connection, but they they feel like they need time. Like, they could also feel like maybe they met you at the wrong time. Like, um, this person does have the intention to be with you, but I feel here that they don't want to rush it because they're almost afraid that if they rush this, they're going to ruin something good. It's just this divine masculine with their back turn makes me think that maybe they walked away. Why is this here? Queen of Pentacles. What do they want with you? What do they want with you? Yeah, the Six of Pentacles reversed. Why are they not giving to this right now? I'm actually getting a really sad message, which I don't really want to say, but I probably should. For some of you guys, I think this person like walked away and they, even though they felt this chemistry with you, they left you for someone else. That's what I'm actually getting. And I don't want to say that, but that's what I'm getting. I feel like this person felt all the things 
felt like, oh my God, this is my soulmate, this is my person, but then it's like, they just, they, they, either they already had someone else and they went back to that person or they walked away from this connection for someone else that maybe felt less intense. Like they could have chose the safe route kind of thing. You know what I mean? As it stands, I wouldn't expect a whole lot from this person with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, but if you are wondering, like, did this person feel what I felt? Yes, they did. Okay, so that's pile three, so I hope that resonates. If you guys want to book a personal reading, I do have a $20 off promotion. I'll leave it in the comment section. All right, but I'm sending you absolute love and light, and I wish you all the best on your journeys. Take care.